Okay, so now we're going to go over some, some of the uh, basic functions in a SAS. <clears throat> uh, basically, the functions will help us, uh, they can help us save uh, quite a bit of time when uh, modifying our data. We can, do, we can do a whole bunch of things, um, you know, including uh, summing up uh, different observations or variables or, uh, or taking the mean of these, or we can find the number of missing values. And there's even, even more uh, advanced uh, uh, functions. And so for this exercise, we're going to use this uh, uh, cars uh, uh, SAS data set. It's basically uh, different types of cars, their makes, models, and all their different attributes, uh, you know, miles uh, per gallon, uh, as far as like city goes, highway goes, their price range, how many cylinders, <clears throat> stuff like that. Uh, so this, for, for this exercise, uh, for the first part, what we're going to do, uh, we're going to do two things. First, we're going to compute the average miles uh, per gallon. Uh, which is basically just the average of the highway and the city miles uh, for the cars. And then we're going to use the advanced filter to only select cars that have a greater uh, MPG, greater than uh, 27. So the first thing we do is we want to use the advanced uh, functions, advanced filters in the query builder. So we click on the query builder. Okay. <clears throat> so we want to use all of our, uh, our variables. So we can just click the whole data set and drag it over and now these will be uh, all of our variables in the output set. Uh, so first thing we need to do is we want to create a new variable average MPG which is the mean average or which is the mean uh, of the highway MPG and the city MPG. So to do this you look up here and we have computed columns, prompt manager, preview, tools, options. To uh, compute new columns we uh, click on the computed columns and we click on new and for this, we want to use the advanced expression. So we click on that and then click next. And this brings us to where we can access all of our, all of our functions. So you see this uh, folder right here, it has a drop down of all the functions we want to use. So for this, we're going to use the mean function. And there's quite a few. Okay, so here's the mean function right here. So we can just double click it. <clears throat> okay, so First thing we need to do is uh, find our variables that we want to use. So we want to use the the uh, miles, I mean the highway uh, MPG and the city MPG. So we can scroll all the way down, and we have our data set right here. If we click the little plus sign, then it drops down all of our variables that we that we uh, have access to. So we're using the highway MPG and the city MPG. So double click highway MPG, and notice it pops right up here. This is our first argument. And then we also want to use the city MPG. Now, when using multiple arguments, always make sure that you have you have a comma separating them. Otherwise, you'll get an error. So put a comma there. Then double-click city MPG. Okay, next. And we'll name this average MPG. Okay, so here's, here's going to be our new column. So we can go ahead and close this. And you can see now it's included into our uh, output uh, set. Okay, so now the next thing we want to do is filter all this. So we click on the filter data, and we want only the uh, the um, the cars that have a greater uh, or a great yeah a greater average uh, MPG uh, greater than twenty seven. So for this, we only want the average MPG variable. So we can just drag it over here. And we want greater than 27 miles per gallon. So we find our greater than option. And then we just type in 27 and the value. And you can see right here it's reflected that our average, our condition that our average is greater than 27. So I click next and then finish. Okay, so now we can go ahead and run this. <clears throat> okay, so. We scroll all the way down. We see our average MPG column, and you can note, you notice that all uh, all of them are greater than 27. So we essentially so we created a whole new variable, average MPG, and then we use the advanced filter in the query builder to also filter out all the uh, all the observations that were less than 27 miles per gallon. Okay, so for this next one, we're going to use for this next exercise, we'll use this uh, scale data, which are just a a bunch of different scores. So what we want to do is we want to create a new column of the mean 
of each observation all the way across uh, the sum and also the number of missing. So once again, we go back to the query builder and we want to include all these. So we drag them all over and we want to compute columns again. So we go to the computed columns, click new. So first we'll do the mean again, we click on advanced expression. This allows us to access our functions. So we go back to mean, the mean function. Double click it. Okay, we go down to our, our data set and we want all these variables. So uh, you can double click each one, but make sure to separate them by a column or a, a comma rather. So if you look up here now, you see we're taking the mean of all these and they're all separated by, by commas. So we click next and we'll just call this sum and finish. So we want to create now, oh, I'm sorry, this was, oh, this should have been mean. Let me go back, edit it. Whenever you make a mistake, you could just, or you have to change something, you could just double click it and it'll bring your, your, uh, the editor back up or you can just click it and then click edit right here. So go back and then change it to mean and finish. Okay, so now we'll create another variable, a new uh, variable or computed column uh, of the sum of all these. So we go back to our advanced expression, go to our functions. This time we look for the sum function and we go all the way down, click on our data set and we do the same thing. We add all of our variables, make sure to separate them by commas. Okay, so now we click next, and this one we'll name sum, and then finish. And we need one more. We're gonna create a column that has the number of missing uh, values. So we go back to new, go back to advanced expression. <clears throat> And to, calc to find the number of uh, missing uh, values, uh, there's a function called the n miss function. So we click it, click n, it'll drag it down to the ones that start with n. And here's our n miss function. Double click it. And we do the exact same thing. We want all of our variables, separating them by commas. And I'll just call this number missing. Click finish, click close, and we can go ahead and run it. <clears throat> okay, so now you see we have three new columns, the mean, sum, and number of missing. The mean, uh, clearly the average all the way down. We have the sum all the way down, and the number of missing. And in the first row, you see that we have just one missing right here under I2. And if you look at the third row, we have, it says we have five missing, and clearly we have one, two, three, four, five. And also notice that all the missing values, because they're numeric values, uh, are represented by a period. So these are just some of the basic uh, functions.